Bonjour everyone. In this video, I'm taking you to two Brocante antique shopping places. I recently went on a short trip with a girlfriend and we found these two places. One had already been to and I know they always have wonderful stuff. And then there's a new one that we discovered. So here you can see this is a proper Brocante antique shop in a tiny village called Anoa. And at first it seemed to be closed. So we had to call the owner and she opened for us to let us in. And either you will love this or you will hate it because it's one of those places where everything is stacked on top of the other things and you really have to search very well to find what you're looking for. And I'm just going to take you through this shop. It is in a former 13th century chapel. I thought that was so amazing. And they had an amazing collection of all kinds of things. Oh, wow. So just a disclaimer, you may hear my friend and me speak Dutch to each other. If there's anything truly interesting, I would have translated this for you. It's basically just us going ah and ah and what we're going to use it for. Nothing, I think, that's very informative about the actual items. So that's just so you don't have to worry about what we're saying in the video. So here you can definitely see that this is a massive place with multiple levels and I am always drawn to anything dishware but my friend is specifically looking for books and I'll explain at the end of the video what she will be using them for so I will share our haul at the end of this video and tell you more about that. Oh here ook uh, Marije. Hier staan ook nog allemaal boeken. Voltaire, théâtre, pièces de théâtre. Oui, oui, merci. Oh, magnifique. Hier heeft ze al een mooie staan. Ja. Mooie wat? Uh, al een mooie aderwerk. Wat niet kapot is. Ah, oké. Okay. Ja, dan die zie ik hier boven inderdaad ook wel. <laughs> non, mais je préfère les blancs. J'aime bien. Ah, okay. Je les ai déjà à la maison, c'est pour compléter en fait. Kijk, zoiets had mijn non toch? Ja, hè? Ja. Ze heeft ontzettend veel. Nou, 
Nee, maar alles is er wat je zoekt. Dus uh, alle mooie dingen die je zou zoeken, die zijn er dan ook. Moet je nou kijken, dit zijn ook boeken die het natuurlijk ontzettend gaaf in de deco doen, hè? Wat is deco? Souvenir de famille. Als, als decoratie. If that's the news of September 1916. Wat? Dit is ook heel mooi. Dat is echt heel tof, ja. Hé, hey, ja, zoiets is leuk. Oh, dit oh, is die leuk. is echt heel tof. Hebben, hebben. This is what you mean. Falling apart, so that can, can be very expensive. Hier. Dit is leuk, dit is spannend, zeg je. Snap je wat ik bedoel? Ja, het is leuk om te kijken. Ja. ja. Even kijken, wat is dat dan? Bloemen. Oh. Daar ben ik al heel lang naar op zoek. Oh, mag ik die niet verknippen? <laughs> Muziekbladen bijvoorbeeld. Ja. Hoe werkt dat dan? Weet ik niet, moet je gewoon vragen. Ik ben jonger nooit geweest. Oh, mag, je, mag je vragen of jij het wilt vragen? Ja. So this first shop was a real antiquité brocante. I will show our haul again at the end of this video. The next stop is a ressourcerie, which is more like a recycling place, a thrift store. I've been to this one before and I think I've been twice and I've always found really beautiful things. So I'm very excited to see what we'll find today.
As you may know, we are currently creating our offices. That is the next project of our big renovation building works. And I have seen these kind of desks, but I have already chosen not to go with a desk, but a table. But if I were to take a desk, I definitely love this old style. We had a desk just like this in the house that I grew up in when I was a kid. So it reminds me of those days. Geet je met je vers water erbij. Die zijn schattig. Ja, die, dat vind ik inderdaad ook leuk. Voor wat jij nu zegt. Ja, ik vind het dan een theekopje. Oh, ik ben los. Ik ben om. Ja, nee, maar Riet en zo maakten ze daarin vroeger van oud. Kijk, hier ook allemaal die mooie. Ah, Wauw. Dat vind ik ook mooi. Ja. Deze ook wel schattig. Ja, heel schattig. Oh, oh dank je. Nothing that we need. Oh, dit is leuk. Ja, die is heel mooi. 
Zijn er meer of is het eentje? Ja, oh ja. Ik denk dat ik die meenemen. Heel lief. Ja. Die... ja. I think these beautiful old books with these beautiful colors and covers that look all the same, I always think they look really nice as decor in your interior, but I did not take these. Let's go home and I will show you what we got in these two stores. This must be my best find for this book hunting trip. I have been looking for these for a long time. I find them pretty often, but they're always broken. And these are all in such a good condition. These are called Jarre in French. I'm not sure. I think they were used for storing things, liquids like olive oils and stuff. So I really like how I can combine these for decoration. Just putting them in the corner of your room like this, a big one and a small one, or maybe put some dried flowers in there and my friend got all this beauty now let's start with these because these are obviously not french they're chinese they were part of a tea set i think and my friend's an artist and she creates mixed media beautiful cards and postcards and she's going to use these for the to put water in for her pencils and this is so beautiful. I know this may look horrible if you don't do what she does. So like I said, she creates postcards and art from all kinds of mixed media. So what she loves with these kind of books is to use, for example, and tear a bit of this out and put that on a card and then add all kinds of things. So she liked this because this book has so many beautiful prints and little images on it. The kind of place we found this is exactly the place that you would look for this um, because that's the kind of place that would see the value of a book that looks all torn and like it's not worth anything anymore. You can see it has all these nice little drawings in it that she can use for her art. See this says 1931. This actually looks like one of those books. My grandfather had these, he bought them every year. At the end of the year, he would buy this book for the coming year and it had all kinds of information about the year ahead, all kinds of random um, things to know. For example, like here, how to make syrup of a certain kind of apple that helps you <laughs> digest. Um, a curiosité de vitesse, what's the speed of a river, a, a camel that can run, normal wind, 
the fly, how fast a, a fly flies. And this, my grandfather had these as well. Um, I would always read them when I went to my grandparents' house. And this book is the Brevet Elimentaire. That is, it still exists. The Brevet is what 15-year-olds have to do. It's like graduating from middle school. And this is the program, the curriculum for 1920. And it speaks about French literature. My friend loves cooking as much as I do and dishware as much as I do. She got these beautiful plates. They used to have a golden rim at some point. They were, I think, 50 cents each. This was at the Ressourcerie, and I've, I've explained this before. A brocante is usually more expensive. These were at a brocante, but she got all these for 15 euros. So this was a good deal. She bought, she bought these at the Ressourcerie, which is like a recycling station store where generally prices are very very reasonable she got these there as well these were 50 cents each and then she got all these beautiful bowls that you've seen so so often on my channel because i love these bowls i always get them she loved the colors of these see these are all made in france these are the ones that you've seen me uh, share often these are by Diguin. They still make them and they come in all kinds of beautiful and bright colors now. And as you've seen on many of my videos, I use these all the time. They're very sturdy. If you're looking for bowls like these, this size, smaller sizes, bigger sizes, um, send me a message on the email that's in the description box because I do sell occasionally, sell some of the items that I've sourced. So if you're interested in that, I have a lot of these, which I noticed when we started cleaning out our um, future office, <laughs> that I have too many, actually. I'm not going to keep them all. And then the last thing that my friend got is this beautiful tureen. I think it was used for vegetables. Normally, they would have a lid on them, but I don't think, for some reason, this one doesn't look like it did. It's by Jean, which is also a wonderful and very well-known brand. They still make beautiful porcelain dishware. That's what my friend got. And then I got a few things. Things I already have. And I'm just buying more to complement. Um, to make sure I have enough when things break. Because I use all of these all the time. For example, these kind of dishes I use. You may have seen them in videos. I have similar ones, but then the outside is beige like the inside is for this one. I use them for desserts, for breakfast, snacks for guests. These, I just took those because I thought they went very well with those. Didn't really need these, but again, a lot breaks, <laughs> so you can never have too much. These were, I believe, 50 cents each. And as you can see, they are not all entirely the same in color which I kind of liked. Then I got more of these bowls. Like I just said, I found out I already have too many, <laughs> but they are always so beautiful. Similar ones to the ones my friend got. I have many of these in a smaller size, like a more like a soup bowl size. And then I was so inspired by my friend getting all these more um, warmer, almost like Southern France colors that I've never bought before. It really has these beautiful Provence and Southern France yellow on it that we don't really find in this region easily. And then I got many, many, a whole bunch of these. I can use these for desserts or like little snacks, or maybe when you do a larger dinner with more courses, a small soup. I just love them. And I had about six and I just love the idea of having way more for when I have more people over and again for when something breaks. So that is it. That was the haul for this little brocante shopping trip. I hope you liked it and let me know which items you loved most. And I will see you in the next video.